They've won the first ever national championship. They're known as Razorback Legends. One on the shot clock. Thurman beat it. Oh! He's got it! Here's Williamson on a breakaway. Got the slam. Scotty Thurman and Corliss Williamson led the Hawks to back-to-back -back national championship appearances, beating Duke for the title in 94 and coming just short to UCLA in 95. Over two decades later, the two are back in Arkansas coaching on the high school level, and on Tuesday night, they faced off from opposite sidelines. Thurman as Parkview head coach, Williamson as Little Rock Christian assistant, each in their second seasons with the teams. Well, I mean, it's, it's always fun when we have a chance to compete, whether it's you know, us playing the game of dominoes or back when we were young, playing AAU basketball against each other or one-on-one. -on -one. We still have that same competitive fire now. Well, it's definitely different. Um, you know, obviously our careers have, have gone different paths in terms of the places that we've actually coached at. But we always try to help each other in terms of understanding different things about the game and the way the game is going now. So we're very competitive uh, when we're going against one another in terms of wanting to win. Parkview came out on top that night, beating ORCA 64 to 49. But the one thing these two care more about than final scores are the lives they can touch in their chapter as coaches. I think the beauty of it is the fact that we're still able to be involved with the game that we love and hopefully make a difference in their lives. And that's the one thing I think that we both take a lot of pride in is trying to give back to the game and, and the youth. This is about teaching our young people and trying to help them progress. And I think he and I both do a good job of trying to separate that. You know, our friendship is important to us, but at the end of the day, when we're on different sides, I mean, we're competing and trying to see who teams are going to come out on top. To this day, Thurman and Williamson, as well as the other Razorbacks on those championship teams from the 90s, remain close. Oh, we're all still very close-knit. You know, a lot of us still remain in contact via the telephone or FaceTime or what have you. Um, and I think it's just a bunch that, you know, really recognize what we did at that time. I'm not so sure that we enjoyed it as much when we were young, uh, but now that we're older and none of us really play much, you know, I think it's something to cherish in terms of being not only a team that accomplished what we did in terms of winning the 94 championship, but also going back and having an opportunity to repeat, even though we fell short. Um, that's still something that we're very, very proud of. Williamson went on to be a first round draft pick and an NBA champion. Thurman played around the world. Each of their prolific playing careers have translated into coaching. Now, I've had an opportunity to play for some of the greatest coaching minds uh, in the game. Uh, a lot of Hall of Famers and you know, I've kind of picked and pulled from, from, uh, from their philosophies. Uh, also being able to play with some great players and, and, and being that in, in the top echelon of uh, of leagues in the uh, in basketball, so uh, I just try to use those experiences to help these young men. Everyone has a dream of being an NBA player, but you know, chances of that happening are going to be slim. But I still want them to enjoy the game and understand that it's not only just the game, but it's also teaching you a lot of skills and values that you'll have carry over into your regular day life. Well, I think it, it it's grown each and every day. I think it grew while I was in the collegiate level before at the U of A. I think it's grown now. Obviously, when you sit in the seat that I sit in now, you know, you're not, no longer in the system. So, you know, some of my nights are maybe a little bit longer than, than what it was as an assistant. But in terms of learning the game and improving the game, that's something I've always uh, tried to be a big component of. Um, learning a lot about player development at this level and really taking what I learned at, at the college level and try to implement a lot of those different things here from the player development side to the, the character development as well as the career enhancement part trying to do everything i can to put substance into these young men so they can be productive basketball players but more important productive student athletes this is my home state it's been wonderful to watch uh the talent level has definitely increased every year and um, these young players really know how to play the game so i'm enjoying it and it's fun to be back in the state uh, to get back to these young kids here at Little Rock Christian, but also any, any other player I'm able to touch and, and help out, I'm, I'm happy to do that as well. Nick Walters, Fox 16.